exposed. So we are two years into this global COVID pandemic and many of you are back to work or you're settled into a new routine. But criminals are too. In fact, they are loving this golden age of law breaking, a sense of freedom to do whatever they want like never before. So tonight we're putting a spotlight on what amounts to catch and release. And thanks to a unique set of circumstances, the courts are backlogged, delaying trials for months, even years. And some judges are putting repeat offenders back on your streets with little or no bail, even though they know those people are almost guaranteed to commit more crimes. And don't just take my word for it. Let me give you some prime examples. Police in Bonnie Lake say this is video of an armed robbery suspect who walked into a cell phone store on December 30th, slapped a note on the counter demanding money, and then flashed a gun at the clerk. She got away with almost $1,000 in cash. Detectives say after they arrested 30-year-old Tess Babauta at a casino, she confessed to the holdup and was charged with a serious felony, robbery in the first degree. When Babauta appeared in Pierce County Court last Monday, prosecutors asked that she be held on $150,000 bail. Instead, Commissioner Craig Adams set her bail at just $5,000. And just as Babauta was getting ready to be released from jail, prosecutors charged her in another felony crime, identity theft. And I find that there is probable cause to justify a filing the case against you. In that case, she's accused of running up charges on a 77-year-old woman's credit card while the victim was in the hospital. So on Tuesday, she was back in court. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. So I have to post bail again? Post $2,500 bail, and then you can be released after they hook you up on the uh, uh, ankle bracelet. Okay. Prosecutors had asked for a $10,000 bail for the ID theft charge, but the same commissioner set bail at $2,500 and ordered her to wear an electronic tracker when she's released. Still, she balked. My mom, she, she posted my bail last time, and um, I'm just seeing if I can just go out on the last bail. 